My name is Uzuamaka Anuno and I play Inspector Ijoma Anene on DJ. My first reaction when I read the script, I was happy. I loved the story, the originality to it. It was very close to home. I really liked the spirituality angle that it took. A series with a diabolic twist to it. It was very interesting. I also liked that I got to play an inspector, which is different from anything that I've done in the past. And I consider it a, a privilege to do something that you've not done before, to just play a different role all the time. Um, I read the script and see how much of a good story it is, first of all. Is it a full story? Does it humanize um, real human beings? Does it humanize people that I'm not interested in? Does it humanize evil people? Um, things like that. Um, I look out for the character that I'm also um, going to play. Is it different? Is it well written? All of these things. Who's directing to? Who is producing? Who are the people who are involved in it? When I read the script, I can tell that uh, the people involved are passionate about this thing. Um, the more driven by how passionate they are uh, about the story than anything else will really. I would describe the character in three words using empathetic, focused, and current, unlike her, her, her colleague who's very old school. It's the fact that she is very interested in knowing the truth about what's going on, about what she's investigating. She would do her research um, by the books, you know, find out what's going on. But then she's also very intuitive, so she would trust how she feels about the situation. Um, I think it's a very human trait. I think that when people watch it, they're going to be like, oh, that's, that's, that's so me. Because even though this is, this is what it's supposed to be, this is what, you know, the investigation is leading towards, but your heart says it's not this person or it's that person. You trust it. So I think that's what you'll connect with the most. Yes. I think, I like to think, unless my friends think otherwise, but I like to think that I'm empathetic. Yes, so, so you know, when, when I review a situation, I connect with how people feel generally. So I think, I think I'm an empathetic person. And I think that's what myself and Ijama we have in common. They should expect to have fun watching it. They should expect to question what they already know. So it's a spiritual angle in that it's something that we're sort of familiar with. Because I think that, in, especially in the East, we've had snippets of tales like this in the past, you know, where somebody goes spiritual to achieve something that they want, something personal. I don't want to go too deep into the story so that I'm not, you know, I'm dropping spoilers. But then it's something that we're sort of kind of familiar with. So I think that people are going to watch it and be like, ooh, like to see that in, you know, in, on our screens, done by actors, brought to life by, you know, people who are deliberate about what they're doing, it, they're going to be fascinated by, by it, I think. Yeah, the story, the originality of it, and they're going to be like, oh, and then they're probably going to judge people, I think. Like, did they do that? They didn't know, but yeah, they're going to, they're going to be fascinated by the story. Um, Frank Conway. Frank can sleep sitting down. He can sleep standing. It's magic. It's, it's, it's insane, but he can sleep anywhere. I admire that, <laughs> but it's true. Um, yeah, and Tuchir is, is that TikTok star. <laughs> she just does TikTok all the freaking time and dresses up for it. Doesn't play, wears costume, has like the lady who follows her around, does the everything. She, she's really serious about it. Um, I think that's about it. What I liked the most would be the accommodation because people, actors work hard, people work hard generally. Where you put them to rest at the end of a day's work is so important. And I'm really happy that this production prioritized that. So everyone had their own space, everyone had their own room. I had my room, I had my nice bed. I had hot, 
hot water in my shower. It was great. So we did have long hours, but I was always looking forward to going back to my room to like light candles. It just gave, like they gave us the, the space that we needed. I had my room that was just like amazing for me. So I was looking forward to working and going back to my room. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing I enjoyed the most about it. My creative routine before I start working. I'm very big on affirmation. I like to look at myself in the mirror and just be like, you're awesome, you're beautiful, you're talented. You are on this show because you are talented. You are on this show because you deserve to be on this show. Because sometimes, you know, the mind can be tricky. The mind can be telling you, mm, you're only here because da 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 da. And so it's important that you say it over and over again to yourself and believe it. So that when you go in, when you go there on, on set, you give it your best. So affirmations for me and drink water, lots of it, as long as there's a bathroom somewhere. And there was on set, so I was all right. The most challenging thing working on DJ, I think, was the, the way the set was set up. <laughs> Ooh, I'm rhyming. <laughs> The, yeah, the way the set was set up. So if there's no air conditioning, it's hot. Like, it's so hot. You think it's in hot? Think again. But yeah, it was, it was really hot there. Um, so like once, once because, because myself and Frank, um, our, our investigative, investigation, interrogation room. <laughs> so the interrogation room, oh my goodness, because there were no windows, nothing. Yeah. So like, once we got in there, it's like, water works. But yeah, but we persevered and we did a brilliant job regardless. <laughs> I think that with DJ, Showmax already set the tone. So other people coming after this will have to come correct. In terms of story, um, the originality, like I mentioned earlier, it's a whodunit, it's a thriller, but when we think thriller, we think Western. But they're showing us that it's possible to do a Nigerian story with guns. It's possible to do a Nigerian story with investigators doing their jobs. Like, you know, tell that kind of story that's down here at home. Also, I'm very passionate about hair, about Nigerian African hair, our Afro. It's beautiful, it's glamorous, it's luxurious. And Showmax with DJ shows us that when you're a superstar, you can wear natural hair and it's going to be beautiful. So we're, we're used to seeing, oh, you have natural hair and then when you glam up, you have long weave. But that's not the case in this one. And I'm very happy, like that, that made me really happy. And so when others watch it, I hope that they see what's possible. And so when they're doing the, theirs, they portray our hair in the same lights that DJ has. Um, what else? Picture quality. We shot with the best camera. Yeah, so you can tell um, like a beautiful story. Yeah, I mean, start with whatever camera you have, but this is also showing us, you know, you can, you can just be the best just because you can. Um, yeah, DJ has set the tone, like I said earlier. And every other person coming to do like their own originals and their own, you know, limited series, you have to come correct. You have to be honest with your storytelling. You have to be original. You have to portray our natural hair in a good light because our natural hair is awesome. Um, yeah, and you have to tell a story that people will watch and be like, yes, I actually heard my grandma talk about this in the past. I don't remember it, but yeah, that's, yeah, 